All right, evening, sword friends. So to piggyback off Space Ghost Modern uh, Wakazashi video, um, he also had his katana out, and I also got the Tanto. So, yeah, everything you said about him stands true. Freaking, uh, I mean, these are excellent, excellent swords. Here is a curry blade geometry, differentially hardened. I mean, look at that profile. The point of balance on the katana is two and a half inches. On the wakazashi is two inches. And on the tanto is half an inch. And they're cutter's dream, especially for trick cutting. But these are not made for the beginner. Like, if you make one bad cut on a water bottle or a tatami mat or a pumpkin or anything that's pretty much not nothing, you're going to put a set in it. I really think Dragon King should make a shinogi or a shobu zakuri version for the beginner and market these here zakuri ones for the advanced cutter, but it's neither here nor there. I mean, look at that profile, that wakazashi. None of them came sharp to my satisfaction, but, I mean, that's an easy fix, and now they're all laser beams. I changed out the olive drab segeo with black, and gonna have the suka, in quotation marks, done up with gutted black paracord, and I think that will make them the perfect trick-cutting sword. But, I mean, they all have a little bit different, like, quirks and whatnot, like, I mean... See the hamon there? The polish job and the katana was terrible. But, there's a walkie. I mean, you're gonna see my fucking belt sander marks in a minute, but this is a sword to be used, not to be fucking looked at. Um, all the Saya fit well, except for the katana and the wakas or the katana and the tanto. I had to use some gorilla glue to get them in there. Now the hamon's a little bit different, but I like how deep it is. There's a lot of hard steel there. It's Hanway's 1566. Can't really go wrong. And yeah, man, time to cut some shit. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.